Hi Unity fans, today I want to show you a free asset for water and other fluids called Water2D that you can get from the asset store. First I start a new project in the Unity Hub of type 2D and I name it 2D Water Demo. And here in Unity on the Asset Store tab, you can see the Water 2D asset that can be used to create games like Where's My Water, Happy Class or Dig Caves. I press download, it's pretty small and then I import it to my project. Ok, after that we have a Water 2D folder and a couple of demo scenes, just let's go through it. I open the first example and open the scene tab. And here you can see we have a water spawner object. Here it is in the hierarchy. But in this demo we are not going to spawn water. We are spawning oil and this is why the oil drop prefab is used. There's also a mouse collider object so that we can interact with the fluid. You can see it when I start the game, the oil is spawned onto the environment and I can click onto the fluid to kind of change the flow. Looks really nice in my opinion. Now let's go to the next demo. The environment is the same but now water is spawned with a higher speed but less lifetime and I can still interact using the mouse. Ok, in the next one we have some other sprites with Polygon 2D colliders, also very interesting. And in this demo the fluid has a different color and is also spawned with a different angle. It's really cool how this edge collider works in the combination with the fluid. And in the last demo we have water that is poured onto an object with a rigid body 2D. And as you can see in the inspector we don't have an animator or something added to this object, just a rigid body and box colliders 2D, so this is very simple to set up. Alright, but what I want to show you in the next step is to set up the scene from the scratch. This is also very simple using prefabs. So I switch to my empty 2D scene and remove the default main camera. And from the prefab folder I drag in the cameras prefab. After that the water 2D spawner. And now I can decide whether we want to spawn oil or water. And I will use water so I drag in the water drop prefab. I deactivate this object because we don't want it to be visible when we start the game. And the last thing we have to do now before we can spawn water is to add the water drop to the water drops objects list. You can add here many different objects if you like, but for the sake of this tutorial we will just add one water drop. And when we start now, the water is spawned already. Great. By default the color is blue, but you can change the fill and stroke color of the fluid in the inspector and also some other settings that I will explain in a minute. Ok, but the scene is a bit boring, so let's add an object the water can collide with. We have a couple of sprites in the sprites folder, I'm selecting this one that we know from the demo and add a polygon collider 2D to it. I press add component and search for the polygon collider 2D. Then I rotate it a bit. After that I press the play button and here we go. You see it's very easy to get started with it, but we can do better than that. Let's change again to the oil demo and my idea is to let the player rotate the spawner to change the direction of the fluid. Ok, here is the spawner. And I want to rotate it dynamically on user input, for example by using the left and right arrow keys. So we need a new C-sharp script that I add now to the folder scripts. 
and I set the name to Rotator. After that, I drag it onto the spawner to attach it as a new component, and then I double click and open it in Visual Studio. Ok, here's the script, derived from mono behavior and we don't need the start method, so I remove it and in the update method, that is called once per frame, I get the user input for the horizontal axis, then I check if there has been an input, and in this case I rotate the transform around the set axis. So we are rotating the spawner now when the user presses the left or right arrow key. For the rotation angle I use a variable called m rotation. And it's a nice trick to use the variable before it is defined, I just write it down and use the helpers of Visual Studio to generate this private field. But of course we have to increase or decrease the rotation angle. And this can be done by adding the age input multiplied by a rotation speed field, which I define again by using the potential fixes feature of Visual Studio, this time as public field so that we can change it in the editor. Then I multiply this with the delta time, and this is the basic rotation logic for the spawner. Before we start the game, I define a default value for the rotation speed. I use 25. The rotation I initialize to 0 and then we can go ahead and start the game. Ok, when I press the arrow keys now, the rotation already works, but as you can see, the fluid doesn't change the direction. So we have to do a bit more for this. To set the speed and the direction of the fluid, the spawner has an x and y speed variable that you can set in positive or negative direction. So what we have to do in the script now is to check out in which direction the spawner is rotated. And to get the direction we use the local rotation of the transform, which is a quaternion, and multiply it with the 2D down vector because the spawner is pointing downwards. And this direction is a vector 2D that we can assign to the init speed of the water 2D spawner. The values x and y have a range between minus 1 and 1, but to set the speed as well for the fluid, not only the direction, I multiply this with a fluid speed. The fluid speed is not a variable yet, so I define it. The generated data type is a vector, I set it to float, and also define it as a public member. Initially I set the speed to 5, and then we can start the game with these default values and see if it works. Alright, now we have a spawner for fluids, for that you can change the direction and the speed of the fluid. Nice, now let's go to the inspector and use some higher values for the rotation speed and the fluid speed. For example, 60 and 12. And now we are kind of spraying oil. So you can see that's a really great and extendable asset that you can use for free for your games, mobile games as well. I can highly recommend it, so download it and add your experiences with the asset to the comments. Would be interesting to know what you think about it. Alright guys, if you like the video and my channel, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please tell me if you are interested in more videos about free assets. The link to this water 2D asset is added to the description below. Check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one on JNM.